The latest version of CA Capacity Management uniquely provides advanced scalability and capacity analysis with end-to-end -end cross enterprise support and capabilities for your multi-tiered business services. From the mainframe to distributed and onto the cloud in order to provide the prescriptive insight you need to make informed business decisions. In today's example, we will perform a scenario that simulates anticipated changes in business demand spanning the mainframe and distributed environments. As can be seen, CA has added many mainframe models to our library to expand capacity planning support for your heterogeneous environments, as well as the ability to do capacity analysis across your multi-tiered applications. So we have our base performance data for all of our servers making up this business service, from the front-end web servers all the way through to the back-end mainframe. So what if we ran a scenario in response to an anticipated change in business demand where we are expecting to see an increase in the number of transactions for our business service? What could we do to not just mitigate, but predict what additional assets would be needed and required to support these increases in workload? Right away, as evident from our workload growth model, we see we'll have CPU capacity concerns with our front-end web tier as well as capacity issues into month eight of our simulation. So let's run a scenario and put a plan in place to upgrade this environment prior to breaching any thresholds and see how our results will look. If we perform our upgrade, we have enough capacity to get through the next few months, but as can be seen, additional capacity will be needed if the increase in workload continues at this rate all useful information to put a proactive plan in place. And without any additional management solutions to install, with CA Capacity Management, we can continue our analysis of this multi-tiered application to the mainframe. So the real question here, and one that many IT shops struggle with today is, when we see growth on our distributed tiers of our application environments, does it equate to the same growth on the back-end mainframe? As we can see from our growth model, we are not seeing the same increase in workload on the mainframe as the distributed side, which makes sense since most mainframes are equipped with much more horsepower than our distributed environments, and as such, not rolled out as frequently. So what if our mainframe workload grew by 20% month over month? What's the impact? Well, this is exactly what the impact would be.